Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Marshawn Lynch. And it's second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Again, now it's Taylor on second and ten. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Go. And the back goes into motion. On third down, Taylor. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the ten, back at the nine. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. And oh, his first carry he loses the football. Wow, that ball is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. Give him 11 on the game there, and it's good enough for a Pittsburgh first down. On first and 10, McNabb. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. Here we go. To throw on second, McNabb. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to get it there to Vernon Davis, the tight end. And it'll bring up third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. A good pick up there, a 22. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years? And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Marshawn Lynch taking it in from four yards out. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. And he's got it up and through. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as he'll start at the 21-yard line. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And that opportunity. Uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll run again with Lynch. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. And the play clock's running down. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. He'll look to throw. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Barry Church. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Shift together here from the D-line. Second down, McNabb. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. And he motions the wide receiver. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Steelers. Marshawn Lynch with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And he will find his man on the outside. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? Toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. On first down, it's Taylor. Nowhere to get away, and down he goes. Taylor is sacked. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Here's a give to Lynch. Stays on his feet. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of one. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. 
Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. And with that, it's two-minute warning time here on the NFL on EA Sports. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Now Taylor. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the longtime court, Bob Sanders. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. McNair to throw. Caught right side, Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, the offense lining up first and ten. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. And a great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Goes underneath for Henry. 16 yards to the 16 and a first down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the three. A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Offense working with a second and goal now from the three. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Out of the gun, McNabb. And he's in. Touchdown. Steelers, Vernon Davis in the final seconds of the first half. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Well, that's the desired outcome coming out of here in the second half of being able to run the football and establish a little bit of pace and maybe even a bit of dominance go. at the line and of scrimmage. The they want that to continue. Way too early to think about this being ball control time, but the way they're running it, you got to think they may want to continue that and see if they can go ahead and grind their opponents into submission. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make this a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Two yards to go here on third down. You got to give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and get some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the ladder 50%. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On the handoff, Lynch. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The best defensive lineman, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get nowhere to get away. And down he goes. Tanner is sacked. Javon Curse in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. And Pittsburgh with six defensive backs in the game here on third down. Time running out here on the play clock. Here's Taylor. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Here we go. Johnson goes in motion left. Here we go on fourth down with Taylor. Flush to his right. And this is incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Call it a three-yard gain, and it'll be second and goal. 
How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wrap. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. Marshawn Lynch taking it in from four yards out. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Now it's Taylor. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Bob Sanders. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They'll run with Lynch. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. Now Lynch. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Let's go! McNabb. Able to find Harris complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You've got the big lead. you got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A great run, but, you know, this is probably where the offensive coordinator is saying, geez, we could have used a couple of these earlier in the game. Yeah, he's probably telling the head coach, well, talk to the run game coordinator about that. I just called the plays. We should have had this going. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Paul Krause. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we... And Henry's hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Sam Madison. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They have the big cushion here in the final stages of this one. I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel, no one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. You name it, all those things they had to deal with, they were able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Yeah, they did it very convincingly. And now the final moments of this one. Here we go. Grand 38. <laughs> Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column too. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Minneapolis, so long, everybody.